Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Welcome to this short demonstration of this powerful menu tool that will help you save thousands of clicks while working at your computer. I will guide you through the first steps of using Quick Access Pop-Up. We will see in this video what is the default menu that is created when you first launch Quick Access Pop-Up, a menu that you can of course customize. We'll see the various types of favorites that you can add in your menu, folders, applications, web page. We'll see the In the Works menu that gives you easy access to all your current work. Then we will focus on how you can open folders from your desktop, from the Windows Explorer, or uh, what is the biggest time saver according to Quick Access Pop-Up users, from the Open and Save As dialog boxes of various applications you use. Then we will see how you can edit your menu using the Customize window or uh, using the Quick Add Active Folder or Web Page. So let's start Quick Access Pop-Up. You can type Quick in the taskbar or uh, if you prefer to have it started automatically, you can make sure that in the icon that you see on the right side of the bottom of your window, you can right click on this uh, the Quick, quick Access Pop-Up icon and select Run at Startup so it will start uh, automatically when you launch Windows. This is the customized window where you can manage your menu using various uh, functions. We won't see all this today but we'll see the basic uh, of uh, customizing your menu using uh, this uh, window. But first, let's take a look at the default menu that is created when you launched uh, Quick Access Pop-Up. You see in this menu folders, for example, the C root drive uh, folder that is there that you can open. You see other favorites. You see the notepad application that you can be launched that way. You see a website, various uh, Quick access pop-up features are available. You see Windows special folders. You can add up to 50 special uh, Windows folders, snippets, Windows apps, a lot of things to discover. But there's one item at the top of the menu that I skipped. That's the In the Works menu, where you can find your current work, what you did recently or what you use frequently that you can find easily that way. In the frequent folders, you will find the uh, places the locations on your computer that you visit more regularly uh, sorted by order of frequency so uh, that way you can easily go back to where you uh, work uh, regularly you have also the frequent files so the documents that were used uh, regularly on your computer also you will have access to the recent folders uh, so in the recent files that were just used recently that you want to where you want to return and finally in the current window Windows, you see the Windows Explorer uh, windows that are open in uh, given folders, like this one in the download folder, or you can also uh, instantly um, activate any application window that is uh, actually running on your computer, the calculator for example, in this case. Now let's see how you can open folders using the Quick Access pop-up menu. Anywhere on the desktop or inside any application, when you press the middle mouse button or hit the Windows W hotkey, it will open the pop-up menu and show you the various folders or favorites that you have there. When you select a folder, it will open Windows Explorer with the folder that you selected. If you uh, click again on the desktop to reopen the menu and select another folder, it will open this folder inside a new Explorer window, so you can have various windows at the same time. But if you want to navigate to another folder inside the existing window, press the button to open the menu inside the window and select the folder where you want to go, and this folder is instantly open inside this window. You can go to other folders like that, and uh, you can also navigate to frequently or recently accessed folder inside this same Windows Explorer. Now let's see how you can change folder inside an application. We will use Notepad 
for this example so let's start notepad type uh, something that we want to save and when we will open the file save as dialog box we will be able to select one of the uh, folders that we have in your menu to go there automatically but the first time you use it you have to enable this uh, feature so click in this dialog box it will open the options uh, dialog box where you can select in the first tab the general tab the first uh, checkbox where it, you say that you want to change folders in using quick access pop-up there's information that will be displayed there telling you that uh, this feature is designed for files dialog box not for options or preferences or other type of dialog box so use it only in file dialog box and that way uh, we can return to our save as dialog box and see that you can select any folder and have this folder being automatically um, uh, open inside your save as dialog box now let's see how you can customize your menu to put your your own favorites inside your menu so you open the customize menu and you see the list of the current uh, content of your menu on the right side you see the menu on the left side you see the window that uh, allow you to manage this you see all these favorites in the same order when there's a sub menu for example the my special folders you can uh, open this uh, menu on the left side to change the content of your sub menu so it's all um, organized with menu sub menus like folders or subfolders to add an item to your menu we will go back to the main menu at the top of your menu and we'll add a new item uh, let's say just before the my snippets uh, uh, item there so you click the add button here you can select various types of favorites it can be documents application websites but we will see in this, in this example how to add a folder so when you get to the add folder dialog box in the basic settings you click browse to select the folder that you want to add so let's say that we want to add the my pet project uh, uh, folder it will be added there the short name for the menu will be automatically taken from the last part of the, the the path to this file there are various options you can go in the menu options to select a, a different icon there's a lot of things that you can customize but for now just save this new item here you see it now in the middle of your menu I will add uh, just uh, small line separators to make this item more visible in the menu and now let's see that you have my pet project in the middle of the menu in between my special folders and my snippet as you can see uh, in the customize window and from now on you can open this folder easily another way that is very convenient to add uh, folders to your menu is to use the add active folder uh, feature so let's first go to the folder that you want to add so let's say that uh, I'm working frequently in my project ABC folder so when I'm inside this folder I open the menu with the middle mouse and I select add active folder or web page it can add a folder in this case it could add a web page if I, if I was in my browser so the the path is added automatically the short name is taken from the end of the path and you click can click add and this item will be automatically inserted at the end of your menu from there you can uh, drag and drop the, the the item if you want to put it somewhere else in your menu let's put a separator line here save it and see your project ABC that is now available in your menu so let's use it to go back to this menu and there we go we are in the project ABC folder so that's an easy way to add items as you work with your computer there's a lot of other features that you can discover using quick access pop-up I invite you to visit the quick access pop-up website there's a knowledge base there that you can uh, read and see uh, questions and answers about all these features it is on the top menu you there knowledge base and there's a lot of information there about the quick access pop-up features you can also see other videos under resources videos and uh, see uh, how you can make quick access pop-up work for you I thank you for your attention I hope that this video helped you to uh, grab the essentials of quick access pop-up and I invite you to visit quickaccesspopup.com thank you